Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and while today is a weekly reset and the last week of Solstice of Heroes, they dropped the uh, info on the Shade Binder, and we've got some really cool class customization coming up. So let's take a look and deep dive on what Stasis subclasses are going to look like. All right, so Bungie gave us more information today about the first subclass for Stasis, and it's the Warlock, the Shadebinder. Say, the staff sealed my hands in rhyme, and the song resonated through my flesh. I was its instrument, and it was mine. When we sang Be Still to the World, it would obey. So, always love their flavor text, always very cool. But first off, this is like the subclass screen. It looks fantastic. Uh, you see the hand out there holding the little ice crystal. This is what the subclass screen looks like. Um, this is amazing. So what we can see here is two things, and this is actually on the website Bungie.net. If you pull up the stasis trailers, you can actually see a little bit more about them. And today they cover the super for the warlock and also the melee, which kind of seems similar, but both very functional. So the super is called Winter's Wrath. Summon a powerful stasis staff whose projectiles instantly freeze their targets. Now, when you watch the gameplay trailer previously, you can see that it would shoot out three or four projectiles. As they would hit, they would actually freeze the enemies. Phase two is you detonate the staff's crystal to send a shockwave of destruction towards your frozen foes, shattering them in the process. Now, I don't know if anybody played Anthem. Not a lot of people did, or you did. You may have played it for just a little while. But the idea of priming and detonating... Uh, was actually a pretty common thing. I've heard other people mention this as well. And the idea is we're going to freeze and then shatter. Same principle here. You're going to set them up and then knock them out. So the setup can be the freeze. Now you could freeze them, leave them alone for a little while. At some point, they'll probably unfreeze. <clears throat> but you're also going to be able to freeze them, potentially shatter them with your super, shoot them with your weapon. There's the preview of gameplay with the warlock where they freeze a hunter and then just shoot it with a sniper rifle, and they shatter as well. So the priming itself potentially could be detonated in multiple ways, but the priming is the freezing, and it's all about crowd control. That's what it seems these subclasses are about. Less about just complete destruction of picture, you know, Nova bombs or flaming hammers. That's just death and destruction everywhere. These are about controlling the situation. If you've ever played a, you know, RPG, crowd control is a big thing. Kind of immobilizing certain enemies while you take care of others is a huge thing. So stasis being part of, you know, a subclass group or a fire team or a raid team specifically, having some people that can just shut down areas, keep things in control, focus on this, and then we'll come over here. And once that's done, we'll come over here. Being able to like manage the battlefield better is what stasis sounds like it's gonna be really beneficial for. And as a team, you're gonna want one or two of these coming with you for sure, there's no doubt. And of course, they're the newest subclass, so I'm sure they're gonna be broken for a little bit, so that should be fun too. So yeah. The super is going to have the explosion of the crystal uh, coming from the staff itself, and then the projectiles that you shoot out. Now, the other piece, we have the melee. The melee they, they call the penumbral blast. Fire stasis energy from your staff and freeze opponents in their tracks. That's where we actually saw the little clip in PvP where they froze the warlock. This is how they froze the warlock. Now, maybe it's just a single blast, you have to hit him perfectly, but if I can freeze you with a melee blast take my sweet time and aim my sniper rifle at just your body and shatter you. That's pretty That's pretty amazing shutdown abilities, especially in PvP. I'm very curious to see how these play in PvP. Quite excited about it, but honestly, it's going to be broken for a little bit, I'm sure. Things are going to get tweaked, but when this launches, it's going to be utter chaos in PvP. Should be a lot of fun. But yeah, freezing with a melee ability, if you get that direct hit, you just shut them down. You can stare at them for a second, probably do an emote, and then shoot them. There's probably going to be some trolling for sure. Now, we get more details about the subclass as well, so let me switch over to that. Now, this is where it gets very, very interesting. And what we've got here is actually the subclass. Basically, you'd have the skill tree, but it looks completely different than the other subclasses. Now, I think they said first they're going to roll this out to the stasis subclasses, so these are going to look different. Uh, and then they're potentially going to be rolling this out later on for the other subclasses. Maybe this is kind of an annual rollout. Maybe the first one's stasis. Maybe the fall is arc. Then maybe the spring is fire. And then the final one's void. We might get customizations. I don't know how they're going to roll them out. I'd like to see kind of a staggered rollout. So you actually kind of the seasons continue to feel fresh. But the shade binder for the warlock subclass looks as follows. Big thing on the far left, that's your super. It is going to function as follows. Now, that does mean you only have just the one super, as opposed to some of the other classes where we have multiple, basically. Take the Titan Hammers, for example. You've got Sunspot, 
you've got the more throwing hammers without the sunspot, and then you've also got the big burning mall. This one is going to be one super that functions by itself, but you have more customization about how the abilities and you have more kind of customization over how the one super itself is going to feel, which I do like, and hopefully they continue to give depth to all the subclasses this way, hopefully. So the way it works, got your subclass, your super on the left, and you've got four abilities right here in the middle. Looks like if you've got your rift, your ju jump of choice, you can have your melee, and then your three grenade types. Now, it does look like there are going to be multiple grenades for stasis, so that's always good. Looks like everybody's probably going to be sharing the same stasis grenades, it seems, unless there's some that we haven't seen. But we have two new things. These are brand new to Beyond Light and stasis subclasses, both aspects and fragments. So aspects, they state, manifest as physical items in the world, such as a crystallized Vex Conflux or a robotic Fallen Arm, for example. And basically what happens is when you slot them in, they offer players new abilities among other effects. These abilities can be mixed and matched freely by the player. Many aspects will have space for fragments to be slotted in. Fragments are also physical items that you can discover in the world when, you, when applied to aspects offer additional passive perks, such as stat bonuses that come with penalties, things of that nature. So here's one, for example, that we can look at. This one is called Frost Pulse. It's a stasis aspect. So it is specific to stasis probably going to be very much related to Warlock only. And you'll notice here, a conflux trapped motionless in crystalline. Infinite possibilities held in tranquil inertia. You unleash the darkness within, suspending your enemies in harrowing stillness. Casting a rift, just your general class ability, creates a shockwave that freezes nearby combatants. You get in a pinch and you throw a healing rift down, that's usually fairly beneficial. You get in a pinch throwing healing rift down that now also freezes things, that is a whole different level of saving your own butt. So Frost Pulse is one of probably the many aspects. Now you also notice where it says Fragment Slots. You've got three of them on this specific aspect. Maybe one aspect has two, maybe one has four, maybe one has, you know, we'll just have to see. And the more slots you have depends where you're, you might be able to customize more or less. And, you know, maybe some are stronger, or better or worse. We'll just have to see how it goes. But Aspects are kind of the big ability changer. So obviously your Rift now freezes things. Fragments are smaller changes to your subclass and your character. Fragments, for example, are going to be like this one right here, Whisper of Bonds. Defeat frozen targets with weapons, so not abilities, and it grants you super energy. Now, you give up 10 intellect and 10 discipline to do this, but if you freeze a lot of enemies or you're running around with a couple other stasis people... Um, you can get a lot of super energy quickly from that one. So you can see here, while this one shows that it's got... You know, one stasis fragment, you've got like six different ones to pick from, so you can apply them as as it works out, and depending on potentially maybe how many aspects you have, you might be able to have a certain number of fragment slots overall. You're going to have to see how that works, but you can also tell some are going to have give and take. Some are going to give you super energy by giving up stats, for example. Now, of course, these are all like placeholders, so don't take anything of this to be like gospel, but here you can definitely see how that's going to work. Another example is this. So no, another example of a fragment is the Whisper of Refraction uh, that replenishes some of their class ability upon shattering enemies. They now have themselves set up with a pretty nice one-two punch. So picture yourself as using your Rift, freezing enemies, shattering enemies around you, whether it be like by weapons or something of that nature, and then when you shatter those enemies, you get your class ability back. You can probably, depending on how many you kill, Turn around, do your rift again, freeze more enemies. You guys get where I'm going. It's a fairly cool synergy combo. And this is the type of like build type crafting that we're, we've probably been waiting for for a very, very long time. So this is what I'm really excited about. Yes, we may only have one subclass that works for each class. So, you're, you know, Titan's going to have the Behemoth, the Fist. Hunter's going to have the throwing ice picks. And then the, hunt, the Warlock's going to be the Shade Binder. They're going to have their staff. You may have less customization in, there's not like a staff and then two other versions of the staff for the Warlock, but the depth that you get of your characters, um, both customization of what you prefer, the fact that your aspects, you can change your rift to do one thing, maybe your grenade does something else, maybe your jump, who knows? Like, I don't know how many of these things they have planned for aspects, but big ability changes from the aspects are really intriguing, and then just choosing how deep you want to go for the fragments themselves also gives a lot of variety to the playstyle. 
So subclasses are definitely going to feel di different. Arc, Solar, and Void, still going to have your three tiers. Pretty set play styles for each one. Just pick a tree that you're stuck in. Pick a grenade, that. Subclass for stasis is going to feel completely different. More customization, things like that. And again, this is where, cross our fingers, many other subclasses get this type of treatment. And maybe it's like a thing they roll out over the course of the next year. Certain seasons maybe have a arc, solar, and void theme over the course of what's coming in the during year four. And we get a lot more customization. I'm very, very curious how this all works out. Um, for the other subclasses, I'm not entirely sure how the UI would look because you have the big super on the left-hand side. Uh, everything else, the abilities, that's pretty straightforward. You just drop down, pick which one you want. That takes up less space. Aspects and fragments, of course, you know, they've got a good-looking UI. But overall, really like how the subclass tree is looking. Uh, the possibility of the fragments and the aspects give a lot more depth to how you want to play your character. I'm sure there's going to be a, like... Optimal build for PvE, sure. But when it comes to PvP, people like Cool Guy and Fallout and Drewski and Kami Cakes, all those guys that go so in-depth to make their specific build, these are the type of things hopefully they're looking for, and I really hope for their sake that they can actually find things that work very well for them, and you can truly start building a custom Guardian. That's pretty much all we've got for now from this one. Uh, we've got the name of the subclass, of course, the Shade Binder, but we now know what the super does, what the melee does. Don't know all the grenades specifically yet, but the aspects and fragments, probably the two things I'm most excited about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be streaming Avengers. Uh, I got the deluxe access copy. Shout out to Square Enix and all of those guys out there. Hashtag for, for providing me that code. So if you guys do see me pl playing that, just an FYI, I'll probably have that plastered all over the stream. Also, NVIDIA dropped their information about all their new 3000 series graphics cards. If you guys want me to talk about those, I keep up with hardware a lot, but I don't do a lot of hardware on my channel. There's probably a lot of other people that are better at that. So if you are curious though, tweet me, ask me questions. Always love to talk about computer hardware. So thank you guys very much. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Drop comments below if you have questions, thoughts, hopeful builds, fragments, aspects, anything that you kind of would like to see them do. I'm curious where you guys think they can take this stuff. Other than that, you can find me on Twitch on Twitter as Ebontis. If you guys haven't subbed yet, please hit that sub button and the alert bell. Beyond Light's going to be, sounds freaking amazing. Um, so you definitely want to stay tuned. So if you haven't subbed, hit that sub button. More Destiny stuff coming to you soon. Have a good one. I'll see you soon.